could have gotten it together to then hire possibly one dollar or more. So Michael, you're taking a photograph of the car? I am indeed, Ali. What, what, you have a project? A bits of it. You have a project? A project on the cover orange. And where are you presenting this project? Well, it's a part of a competition tomorrow night. And where is the competition then? Castlebar. Have they a photographic club in Castlebar? We still have, after all these years. How long has it gone on for? Uh, we started in 1977. Oh, it's a long time, yeah. It's surviving. It's still surviving. It's thriving, I think. It's a beautiful piece of work. I mean, their man was famous for his, uh, this is Carmen Gay. Carmen Gay, yeah. He, he really had a great... Uh, So how long are you the photography, Michael? Since I was six, Ali, and it won't take me long to go that fast. And what was your first camera? It was the Zeiss Icon Box Brownie. There you are. <laughs> was, that a, was that an advanced box camera at that time? It had three I'm, apertures and two shutter speeds. <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> I heard one. of the Kodak Brownie, all right, but... Uh, yeah, well, it was the, 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 kind of the European version of that. Uh, it was bought in Limerick for £1.76. In uh, 1929. And you buy it? Oh, you didn't buy it, no. You, somebody no, else no, bought it. No, no, no. <laughs> you still have it? Uh, no, unfortunately, when That's I went away to work, uh, it was, I left it in the press and my father was tidy, he threw it out in the shed. Okay. And it, it, it rusted, which there were metal bodies, you know. And have you kept the photography up all the time since? More or less. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Have you a big collection? Too much. Too I'm, much, yeah. I'm trying to archive it now at the moment. And how far back does it go? Well, actually, I have photographs of the house that go back to the late 1800s. Have you? I have, yeah. OK. And what would they be of? Oh, family stuff, you mm. know, the family in Limerick and Dublin and places like that. And did you ever collect any other stuff? Uh, I'm told I'm an inveterate collector, but compared to my good wife, I'm a very poor collector. Is she, she into photography? No, she's no. into art. OK. And she has her own camera, which she takes out and they say, ah, you go out and take it for me, you're better at it than me. But she's actually quite good at it. There was a photographic society in Westport for a while. There was, yeah. Uh, that died um, when John O'Donnell moved to Castlebar and I moved out, I was transferred out shortly afterwards and a few others left and poor old Michael McGing was running it. Okay, yeah. And um, it didn't go too well for him, so, you know. <laughs> it, it died after that, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you have a favourite photographer? Mm -hmm. Do you have a favourite photographer? I have a pile of them. Who would you admire most? Well, in black and traditional black and white, Ansel Adams would be my favourite. Mm -hmm. Colour? Colour, it's, it's hard to, um, There's a guy, Sebastian Salvado, he was a Brazilian, I think, and he did lovely colour in black and white. Mm. He was very much into what people do. Uh, he did a great series on the open cast minings in South America. Uh, the photographs were superb. The conditions were horrific. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you talk about third world, is there a right in it? But anyway. It's gone very popular now, photography, isn't it? It is. A lot of people equate quali quantity with quality. Yeah. And uh, I suppose the, dig the digital stuff has really um, made it simpler and easier and accessible. Well, uh, some people say it has. I still use both. Mm. Um, yeah, well, no, you're not buying the roll of film I still and sending it off for getting development. Oh, There's not many doing that I now. I process yeah. it myself. Do you? Colour or black and white? Black and white. Black and white, yeah. Uh, I use colour slides. I don't use colour negative. Mm. Um, it's very hard to get it, actually. Mm. But um, there are places you can get film, you know, uh, mainly black and white. The problem is with the current... Pressure on the price of silver. If you have a few quid to invest, <laughs> if you got in a year ago, you'd be making a fortune. Has it gone up a lot, has? Yeah. Silver, some, yeah. Some fellows cornered the market. It happened in the 80s as well. Okay. And then they all came back to normal prices, and now they're gone bananas again. But anyway, we better let you go to your prayers, Ali, or you'll be in trouble. You have to go to Thurlis yet, haven't you? 